This patient was referred to me from an oral surgeon and the oral surgeon thought that maybe she had an infection and abscess coming from a previously treated tooth number five. Now the patient did not um, say she had a lot of pain, just a little soreness. And she said this little raised fluid filled sac just popped up about a year ago. She didn't think anything of it. It just started getting bigger and bigger. So she ended up going to an oral surgeon and the oral surgeon referred the patient to me. So we took a regular 2D image. You can see tooth number five has a crown and a previous root canal on this tooth. And I explained to the patient that this area may not be directly related to what's going on in the tooth. And I do recommend doing the retreatment. She had some um, acute apical periodontitis on this tooth, pain upon um, tapping on the tooth and percussion. And so I told her that I would recommend doing a retreatment on this tooth but she's also going to probably need to see um, the oral surgeon once again. So I anesthetized this patient. And once I anesthetized the patient, um, that actually fluctuant um, area actually drained by itself, very clear fluid, it drained by itself. So um, what, we, what we did, um, we decided to do a um, 3D CBCT on this particular patient. And we can see from the 3D CBCT, you can see this bone depression here. Um, this is where that cyst-like um, structure is located. And you can see on the 3D bone rendering how it's actually denuded part of that uh, maxilla area. So what we did, we decided to do um, um, get some more imaging. So once we got some more imaging, we can see from the actual slice here, yeah, there were two canals. And then um, from the um, sagittal slice, we can see that the canals were not quite filled um, to the apex. So what we did, we did, decided to do a retreatment um, on this case. So we did a retreatment, um, cleaned everything out. We had a nice result. And so what I told the patient is this is probably a gingival cyst and you probably will still need to go to an oral surgeon to have this area examined and actually enucleated and sent in for a biopsy just to make sure. And she may actually end up needing a bone graft um, in this area uh, due to that, that defect that's there. So I will keep you guys posted on this case.